Hi, in this video, I'm going to be talking about candlestick formations, um, otherwise known as price action, and why traders use certain candlestick formations as uh, indications of a potential reversal in price. Um, there are two main reversal candlestick formations or price action, and one is called the hammer candle, and the other one is called an engulfing candle. Now, candlesticks will are pretty much uh, unique in the sense that uh, they're like snowflakes. There's no two uh, candlestick formations that are exactly the same. But you will get um, candlestick formations that look similar to each other. And you need to understand the story behind the candlestick formation, which is what I'm going to break down for you. So candlesticks pretty much are telling you what price is doing within a certain time period, whether you're on a daily chart or a 15 minute chart. It doesn't matter. The candlestick formations are the candlestick formations at the end of the day. And they tell you um, basically what supply and demand or what buyers and sellers have done in that time period. Now, there are obviously clues um, as to when strong buying or strong demand is coming into the market and strong supply is coming into the market or sellers are coming into the market. And um, like I said, there are two candlestick formations that uh, really indicate um, a change in supply and demand and a possible reversal. And sometimes you just continuation, but in this video, I'm gonna be talking about just the reversal um, in, in price. So uh, first is what uh, traders call a hammer candle or a popular name for it is called the pin bar candlestick, right? So uh, just like everything else, you've got the high, low uh, and open and close prices. Now, this is what the obviously hammer candle um, looks like and it's because it's got a long wick to the downside, which looks like the handle and this would be the, um, the bit on the top. And then you also have an inverse hammer candlestick or an inverted hammer candlestick or an inverse pin bar. And it's pretty much the opposite um, of the uh, hammer candle. So you've got a long wick to the upside and then you've got uh, the body on the lower side. Now, why is this a, uh, a reversal signal? You shouldn't just take it you know, for granted if you see something online and someone's trading uh, hammer candles or pin bars um, as that's just what it is. You need to understand why and the story behind uh, what's happening with buyers and sellers. So we'll go into that now, right? So this is the life of a hammer candlestick, right? So we have our open price. Right, so this is basically where we start. So that we don't know what the previous candle was before, but let's just you know ignore that and just say that price started from here. So we have an open price, and then what happens is is um, oh, sorry about that. So what happens is is price will generally you know end up going down sellers are pretty much in control right so it's going down going down going down to a certain point and then what happens is as price starts making its way back up so sellers are in control and pushing price down then all of a sudden buyers will come into the market and start to push price creating a wick right so buyers something will happen within that time period that prices are being pushed up by buyers so there's more demand than supply right so something's happening within the market buyers are just uh you know um, there's a lot of demand coming into the market and then you end up with what would be considered maybe some sort of doji, uh, dragonfly doji candle, right? So then prices basically push up even higher to the point where it creates a 
bullish candle, right? So at the start and the open of the candle, sellers were in control, pushing price all the way down. By the end of the candle, demand and the buyers are in control so much that, you know, basically supply um, is is very weak and demand is exceptionally strong. Now, this will give um, traders a strong indication that price is or potentially about to reverse um, depending on where uh, price is on a price chart. So don't just take the fact that um, you know, you see a hammer candle and that's just, you know, a reversal candle. You have to understand the story behind it. And uh, we'll go into the inverted. The inverted is pretty much the same, but I'll uh, attempt to uh, animate the, the uh, inverted hammer candle now. So again, with the inverted hammer candle, you have um, prices starting here or the open price. And then you will have buyers drive the market higher and higher and higher and so on. So there's a lot of demand coming in. There's really no supply. The sellers aren't entering the market yet. And then at some point there is extremely, um, you know, supply really does come into the market. So when so strong supply does come into the market, what happens is, is it creates the wick, which gives us the information regarding what's happened in the past. And there is strong supply driving price down. Demand is getting weaker and weaker. Supply is getting stronger and stronger. So much so to the point where it pushes price past where the open price was. So you can see that basically supply was so strong that it pushed price past where buyers had previously been in control. So this now tells the story that prices may want to reverse and continue actually lower um, on, on a price chart. And again, depending on where uh, you see this candlestick is a strong indication of a reversal. So the second candlestick uh, reversal pattern that is very popular with um, traders and that indicates a reversal or potential reversal um, in price is the engulfing candlestick pattern. So we have a bullish and a bearish uh, engulfing candlestick pattern and um, it involves two candlesticks. So you have the first candlestick, which would be a bearish candlestick, because what we're looking for is bullish price action. So we're looking for price to uh, reverse, so go to the upside. So what you need to see is uh, sellers in control. So demand um, should be um, the, sorry, supply should be the candle um, that you wanna see first, which indicates that the sellers are in control. And then the second candlestick, sorry, candlestick you want to see is a bullish candlestick. So again, we're looking for a reversal. So just like the pin bar or hammer candlestick, um, this is a reversal candlestick, but you can see it, it basically plays out over two bars instead of one. So, um, we have the first candlestick, which is a bearish candlestick, and then we have a second candlestick. And to, for the engulfing candlestick to qualify as an engulfing candlestick, um, the close price of the second candlestick must close above the high price of the uh, bearish candlestick, the, uh, the first candlestick. And the reason why that is is because that then gives a strong indication that price is reversing. So um, if prices, for example, were down here and maybe we had the wick that was potentially here, that doesn't really 
give a strong enough indication as to um, you know if if buyers are really uh, taking control of the market. What you want to see is price go above the high price. The higher, the better. So the more demand you see, and the bigger the engulfing candle on the right hand side, the better. Right. So again, if you think about the story uh, between um, and and what this is showing you is that the sellers and supply was coming into the market, but then something happened within this time period where buyers um, and demand increased so much that prices closed ab above the high price of the um, previous candle. So traders pretty much take that as a very, very bullish signal um, to get long. And the same thing would apply with a bearish candlestick. So with a bearish engulfing candlestick, the same principles apply. So you would have a bullish candle, so you'd have demand coming into the market, creating a high price, closed price, open and, and low price. And then you would have in the second candle, which is our bearish, which is our engulfing candlestick, you would have price basically start from here and then may, it may go up a little bit. So this would be potentially green. Right, forget this, um, the candlestick wick hasn't um, you know appeared yet. So you might have prices go something like this in the next candle. And then again, something has happened within the market to push prices down. Right, so supply has entered the market, the sellers have come in and they're pushing price lower and lower, so low in fact that it goes past the previous candlesticks low and keeps going and closes anywhere below the candlestick low. The further away um, the close price and the finish price of the bearish engulfing candlestick is um, from the low price or um, high price, obviously in a in a bullish engulfing candlestick pattern, um, the further away it is, the stronger the supply, and this again indicates um, a potential reversal in price. So I'm going to show you um, on a price chart where these candles um, should be traded and um, to have the best uh, probability of price. Um, reversing and where you should be really trading these uh, the hammer candlestick and the engulfing candlestick pattern. So in this example, we have um, some bullish and bearish uh, hammer candles as well as bullish and bearish engulfing candles um, at levels of support and resistance. Now, what you want to do if you're looking for a reversal is uh, look for bullish pin bars at a level of support and um, bullish engulfings at levels of support and any bearish uh, price actions. So any bearish um, engulfing candles or bearish or inverted hammer candles at levels of resistance. So you can see here we have the uh, bullish or uh, hammer candle right here, pin bar. Here we have a bullish engulfing pattern where the uh, close price is above the previous candlesticks high price and when we have a reversal signal here to the downside um, we can see that price is closed below the low price again we had two three and then we eventually had the reversal so um, yes prices can be uh, and candlestick uh, patterns can be traded, um, you know, anywhere on a price chart. But what you want to do is look for strong areas of support and resistance, and then look for these. When I say strong areas of support and resistance, I mean you know obvious areas of support and resistance, and then look for these candlestick price actions for um, as a, a way to get 
into the short or to the long side. And then what traders will do is put their stop loss um, somewhere above the price action here. So if you're getting into the short side, you put your stop loss above the, uh, the engulfing pattern. If you're trying to get into the to the short side, so to the downside, and then you would enter on the close of that candlestick, stop loss above the high, and then trade to the downside. So if you were looking to buy on this candle, then you would put your stop loss below here. As soon as the candle forms and it was a level of support then you would buy as soon as the candlestick closes and then hopefully prices make their way higher. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do have any questions, please email me at info at trading180.com.